Again, going over how to create another computer art project, again, focusing on text and type. And this assignment is really focusing on what's called typography. So typography is kind of the study of how different fonts sort of can convey different types of meanings or feelings. And so what I did with this quote, uh, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, um, is sort of the way you're using size. You know, I wanted the use to be bold, bigger, the 100, you know, to maybe be like kind of diagonal, like you might see an emoji kind of thing. Something like of the, like a conjunction, could be really small and kind of minute. Um, you know, and then the way you kind of, the angle of letters, italicized, you know, does it taper thick to thin, you know, can make uh, something um, either feel more kind of like serious or fun or... Um, you know, I can have different effects using different types of fonts. And so with this, you want to take a quote and every word should be a different font. Don't know that I necessarily need to make a video for you to understand how to do this, but I just figured why not make another uh, video for this project so you can kind of see my process and then do your own. So um, let's go ahead and I will start a new one here. Um, zoom out just a tad. So like I was saying, one thing that is you're going to have to see is that as I go here, each word is going to need its own layer. Okay, something. So my first word is you. Um, second word, you know, I would want to click on my type tool. Click here um, is you miss. Um, and then I would kind of move that one out. You know, maybe move this first one up a little bit. You can crunch the text boxes a little bit smaller, maybe to make them just like a little more manageable, not so wide and all over the place. Um, but the thing I was going to say is that if you have multiple words in one text box, um, so let, I can do it here, for example, um, this particular um, Pixlr, this particular program we're using, doesn't let you change the font types of these two individual words. If I highlight this one and then go to change the font, you'll notice it did both of them. So it just changes the font for the whole text box. And so that's why, um, you know, I decided, you know, this was a good thing to do that I should go through and, and make a video so that you guys can kind of see and get to know that those couple little things. So you miss again, I go back to my type tool, click again, add another type layer, 100%. Um, you know, again, kind of like squinch my text box and you can start to get play around with arranging these and how you want to kind of make uh, uh, your design, you know, with your lettering, you know, you want to think about either coming across in like a diagonal or sort of like going around your page in a way, maybe going down and up and kind of back down. You kind of want to lead the viewer's eye around or across the page kind of in a round or in a diagonal kind of way. So start to think about that with before you get into picking types or anything like that. 100% um, and then I was going to do this of the you know in one box because I, I think they'll both it's a conjunction so they just kind of take the same font of the and then I'll go back to my type tool again click again shots again click outside and then just click and drag to make that box a little smaller and then I'm gonna go back to my type tool again and then I'm going to put uh, you and just two more words to go. You is here. And then, oops, I just need to click here. Uh, don't. And then one more. Uh, do also make sure that you give credit to the author, whoever the author of your quote is. Uh, don't take. And then period. And then actually I do want a quotation mark there. And I'll go back and put it before my first word. You don't take. And then, um, so double clicking. And then quotation mark. So you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So this is kind of like I'm, I'm getting a new order kind of going with these and the way they're going. Uh, last box I will need is the author box. And so I'm going to put a dash and then Wayne Gretzky. Yeah, there we go. Pretty sure I spelled it right. I guess I could look back at my other project to check. Gret. 
ZKY, there's no S. I thought I might have added that by accident. Okay. Yep, cool. So this is looking good. I might just again make this text box a little bit smaller so that it's not crazy bumping in all my other stuff. All right, so now I get to kind of go through the fun part, uh, picking different fonts and then adjusting the sizes. So, um, you know, you, you know, is kind of like the first word. It's like you. It's, so I kind of want it to be like a big, uh, bold type of font for that type of word. So, you know, there's one that's bold. Um, you know, I want it to be big, impactful right off the bat. So, you know, 222 was the size I got here. So maybe I'll go with like 200, um, you know, and maybe move this. Uh, up a little bit closer to the corner. One thing you want to make sure you do is stay about equally away from the side and the top. You want to leave a little barrier here. You don't want text to ever be touching the corner edges. You want to have a little bit of the border there. So you and then miss. Getting to another font here for miss. So like this feels like kind of like a missing font. It's like italicized, kind of like almost dripping. You know, it just sort of feels like you know, the right shot for miss, like disappointing. You know, it's almost like more of like sagging over, almost bent a little bit, you know? So that kind of fits with the idea of missing. You miss uh, 100. So I found uh, a font before that worked pretty well for that 100 because it was kind of like dashed, italic, kind of like you would see in a, uh, you know, in the emoji. This one seems pretty good, no fire. I kind of want to see what that looks like. Eh, I don't know. So where did that one go? I think I must have gone past it. Um, I feel like it'll pick up. I'll be able to spot it because I feel like it stood out. There it was, 100. Bump the size a little bit, 100. And I could rotate as well. If you want to rotate your type, um, just click on that little circle above it. You know, I could have things going diagonals here, 100%. Uh, again, this one, of the, so it's just of the. So I might leave it kind of small. Um, you know, it's kind of a transition. Maybe I'll leave it a little, maybe make it a little bit bigger. You know, uh, maybe I'll even make this 100 even bigger. And maybe move it up just a little bit. Oops, tough to move. There we go. And then next for shots. So again, you know, you probably might get the idea of where this is going, um, you know, as of right now, and could probably jump in and create your own. The only other thing I'm going to end up getting into is the um, is the background a little bit. So I was going to do a layer of a, a gradient over a. Um, an image and so again here so with this if your text ends up bigger than the text box you can't expand the text box to make it show all your text so you miss 100% of the shots you know kind of takes you across and then it's going to be you don't take are going to kind of be like the three like closing words here so I want another kind of bold-ish one um, here for you again because it's supposed to be kind of like emphasizing that a little bit more um, you and maybe I'll put it a little bit closer here. We'll see how much space these take up as I get. So don't, again, you know, don't, you know, I want to be emphasized a little bit, you know, kind of handwritten. I kind of like that. Um, you know, turn up the size just a little bit, you know, and then drag it up to center it on it. And then this last one here, you know, um, yeah, I think this was the font I actually might have used the last time. You don't take. So again, um, you know, I think you guys probably could have gone ahead and rocked this without me going through all the steps I did in a video, but here you go. Um, and then, like I said, last thing you want to do is kind of consider the background. And so, um, you know, one thing you could do is a gradient. You know, we've done some gradient backgrounds before. I think I might need to add in a new layer, or here we go, layer one, if I scrolled all the way down is blank, so I can put a gradient there. Um, you know, any gradient will do. You could just put a basic, simple gradient. Your text could be any color, it doesn't have to be white as well. You might wanna change uh, 
colors of particular words or something to emphasize particular words and things like that too. Um, but a simple gradient could do. The other thing maybe you want to do is add an image in too. So I kind of had this basketball court um, queued up so that I could, uh, you know, Command V, paste that in um, as well. It looks like that went to my top layer. So I just want to click drag that all the way down and maybe put it right above the gradient layer. And then I was just going to expand it so it goes all the way to the edges. And then um, maybe turn the transparency down. So, um, you know, again, this could be your project too. If you want to keep, um, you know, just an image in the background, that works fine for me as well. Um, you know, so if you want to keep the background as an image or if you want to keep it as a gradient either way is cool you could do both like I'm about to do so I'm just gonna to go to transparency and turn this down to you know 45 50 percent so I can kind of see um, cancel that so you can kind of see both the gradient and the image that I had kind of blending together um, and so that's it for this uh, this video lesson so hope you guys have fun uh, picking a quote and kind of messing with the font and type to kind of create this uh, visual sort of poetry um, that happens with the art of type. So have fun, be creative.